My moral journey regarding nuclear weapons has been an enlightening one. When I was young, I was in awe of the power of nuclear weapons and fascinated by them. Now, I view the use of nuclear weapons as a barbaric way of war and a threat to all humanity. My moral journey from supporting to opposing nuclear weapons has been influenced most significantly by ethical, moral concerns regarding the extensive, painful side effects of radiation and the indiscriminate, widespread killing, as well as Catholic social teaching regarding the immorality of nuclear weapons. When I was younger, I enjoyed learning about nuclear weapons. I thought nuclear weapons were very interesting and powerful. I was under the impression that the United States was right to drop the bombs on Japan to protect America and her troops. I blindly supported the government's statements that dropping the bomb was necessary to save human lives. I also believed that American lives were more important than lives in other countries. Although I had convinced myself that the use of nuclear bombs was justified, I knew, deep down, that it was wrong. Not listening to my heart led to my heart being hardened, in a bad way, and to being blind to any other paths. This blindness and hardening may be what many Americans have to do when hearing that countless innocent people were killed to save their own lives. My view on nuclear weapons started to change in 8th grade when I wrote a paper about the limitations of nuclear weapons and concluded that the only real limitations on the use of nuclear weapons are moral limits. While researching nuclear weapons for my paper, I learned how nuclear weapons work and the long-lasting side effects of radiation. First, nuclear bombs cause widespread death and long-lasting harm to those who survive. Many accounts from Hiroshima and Nagasaki claimed that people were bleeding from their eyes and had their guts falling out. The radiation effects are as bad as the initial explosion. The radiation contaminates the earth and has many side effects for survivors like the destruction of brain cells and malformation of cells causing cancer. Second, nuclear bombs destroy everything. They are used for mass destruction and effective when used for that purpose. It is morally wrong to use a nuclear bomb that harms large numbers of innocent people who have nothing to do with the war and to wipe out and completely destroy cities and humans' ability to survive due to the side effects of radiation. Given such widespread harm and long-term negative side effects involving many innocent people, I came to believe that the use of nuclear weapons was morally wrong. If nuclear weapons are morally wrong, the question is what to do with the arsenals held by countries around the world. The Catholic social teaching on nuclear weapons is that they should all be abolished. This teaching is supported by the Second Vatican Council, which said, Any act of war aimed indiscriminately at the destruction of entire cities is a crime against God and man himself. This statement describes nuclear weapons, which indiscriminately kills people and destroys entire cities and forbids the use because it is a crime against God and man. Another quote from Pope Benedict states, In a nuclear war there would be no victors, only victims. This means that nobody wins in the event of a nuclear war. The effects, direct and indirect, would destroy the world's resources and population for years to come. The last quote is from Pope John Paul, when he declared nuclear weapons to be frightful weapons of extermination, and the expenditure of enormous financial resources that hinders the development of so many other peoples. What Pope John Paul means here is that nuclear weapons are a waste of money that could be better spent on the poor and needy. Now, Pope Francis says that even possession is immoral. In Fratelli Tutti, he writes, International peace and stability cannot be based on a false sense of security on the threat of mutual destruction or a total annihilation, or in simply maintaining a balance of power. Pope Francis means that even the possession of nuclear weapons is immoral because of the fear and terror they create. My moral journey from supporting to opposing nuclear weapons was affected by moral considerations and the Catholic social teaching. The two moral limitations are the widespread destruction and the side effects that nuclear weapons cause. The indiscriminate killing and horrific side effects helped change my view on the use of nuclear weapons. The Catholic social teaching has reaffirmed my current view that the use of nuclear weapons is morally wrong 
and has given me a clear understanding of the dangers of nuclear weapons and that we will only be really safe if all nuclear weapons are eliminated.